Cafe Logic has added four new features in the latest firmware and software update and in this short video I'm going to take you through these updates. The first function is live view of the roast, the second function is a DTR function, the third function is a definition on how the roast ends in back-to-back -back roasts and the fourth function is the activation of the logging on the machine. If you didn't yet fully understand what I was talking about then no worries, I'm going to lead you through all the functions in detail in this video and after that you're going to understand it very clearly. By the way, if you don't know me, I'm Ingo from Roast Travels. I do regularly videos on coffee roasting, so if coffee or coffee roasting is a topic of interest to you, then take a second of your time, follow our channel, so that you don't miss any updates or videos that will come in future. But now let's start with the first function. First function is a live view on the roast. So now in Cafe Logic Studio, you can see how in life the curve is following the predefined curve. You see here the red line is the actual roast and the other line is the predefined profile and you see how the machine is following this curve in life. For this function you just need to have the version of the machine with this cable in order to have an immediate connection between the computer and your roaster. The second function is called DTR. DTR means development time ratio and it's an important factor in coffee roasting. It's a percentage of the time from first crack to the end of the roast divided by the total time of your roast. So imagine you have a 10 minute roast. After eight minutes you have reached first crack. So you have two minutes from first crack to the end of the roast divided by 10 minutes total roast time. This makes 20% of DTR. And the DTR defines the development of your roast and the development of your roast is the factor that has the highest impact on the taste of your coffee, therefore it's an important factor to have a look at. If you want to switch between these two modes, then you can press the fifth button twice, then you see preferences, so you press the middle button to get into preferences, and now you can define between level or DTR. If you press minus, then you use the roast levels. If you press plus, then you use DTR, and you see here, with these brackets that DTR is predefined. What's important for your understanding is that in DTR you always need to mark first crack somehow during your roast. And you have two options. In each roasting profile there is a temperature set for the expected first crack. If you have a look at your profile in Cafe Logic Studio, then you see it here at this point. It's important that you have phases activated so that you can see it. And here you see the expected first crack temperature. If you don't do anything during the roast, then the machine takes the assumption that the first crack is happening at this temperature and is going to calculate the DTR from this temperature. But you can now actively influence the roast and mark the first crack during the roast. You have two options. Either you can mark it at the machine directly by pressing the fifth button and then mark first crack. Or if you're in live roast mode, you can mark it here at the button FC. And then the machine is going to stop the roast when this DTR has been reached after the marked first crack. If you go into the roasting profile, you see here 17.9%. This is the DTR and you can change this DTR to any value that you like. The third function that you have, and you find it in preferences here, is a definition on how the first crack is marked when you do back-to-back -back roast. You have two options. Either once you have marked the first crack in one roast with a particular profile, and you're going to roast another coffee with the same profile, then it assumes the first crack to be always at the temperature that you have marked manually, or you can switch to the other function, which means that if you do a next roast with the same profile, then the machine is going back to the temperature that has been marked in the profile. For you to understand the idea behind it, for example, if you want to do several roasts with the same coffee, then it makes sense that you switch the function so that the machine always take the first crack at the same temperature, so that you only have to mark it once and then all the other roasts are automated and exactly the same. Or if you are roasting different coffees, for example, if you do a cupping and you want to have different coffees, then it makes sense that the machine is always going back to the predefined first crack since all the coffees are reacting a little bit different. For that function, you press again the fifth button to get into preferences and then with the plus button you go to the next value here which is this entered first crack and keep or reset 
if you press minus for keep, then once you define the first crack, it's being kept for the next roast in this profile. If you press the plus button, then it resets. So then it takes again the value that has been defined in the profile. Of course, in every single roast, you can then manually mark the first crack at the point where it's happening. And then there is a force function. And the force function is that you can switch off logging of your rows on the machine. This only makes sense if you're somewhere remote, you don't connect the machine to your computer, you don't look at the logs anyway, then you have the option to switch off this logging so your memory of your machine is not going to be full and you can just go on roasting and roasting and roasting. To deactivate the logging, you go to the same menu, so press the fifth button twice to get into preferences, press this button three times and then you're see roast logging on or off. It's now switched on, but if you want to deactivate this logging, then you just press the minus button here and the roast are not being logged in the machine anymore. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you like this format of these short informative videos and if you have some particular questions that I shall make a video on, then write it in the comment. If you have any particular question on this little roaster or if you want to buy this great little roaster, then come to our website where you find all the details. It's roastrebels.com.